Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator tools, mods, add-ons and enhancements and today I've got a few more for you that we're going to check out um, and then I've got an in-depth review coming of another one that we'll briefly talk about today um, but uh, I've got an in-depth review coming for it later on in the week so be on the lookout for a couple of these. Um, before we get started, I do want to tell you guys that we're going to talk about the Captain Sim 777 for just a second, um, and then we'll get into our mods. So sit tight, relax, grab your drink, let's go. Okay, so first off, right out of the gate, guys, um, I have been asked, as I stated multiple times, about whether or not I was going to be doing a review of the Captain Sim 777. First off, all you have to do is go anywhere on YouTube, guys, and you can see the same things that I see. Um, and it's just, my answer to that is no. Um, I will not be doing a review of Captain Sims 7, uh, 77 for Microsoft Flight Simulator specifically. Okay. Um, I want to emphasize that's from Microsoft Flight Simulator. I don't know if he has another version for different uh, um, expansions or, or different simulators, but specifically speaking to, um, here we go. Let's make sure we're on the right one. There we go. That's better. Um, anyway, to the 777 for Microsoft Flight Simulator, I will not be doing a review on. And the short answer is, and you guys can, I'm sure, deduct all of your reasoning from there, is... Um, just from what I have seen from my colleagues and fellow YouTubers, um, it's not worth it. Um, I don't appreciate the work that was done. Um, when you step into a 777, um, at least for me, my personal opinion is is that when I'm paying money um, for a 777, um, inside and outside, I expect a 777. It doesn't have to be a perfect flight model. It doesn't have to have every detail and feature available. Um, but it needs to be that of a 777. And when you can take a look at the throttle position indicator and see four engines on a two-engine aircraft, that just drew the line for me right there. Yes, the eye candy is great. The exterior of the aircraft looks absolutely fantastic. Um, but outside of that, I was extremely disappointed, and I think to be charging money for a 777 shell with a 747 um, cockpit isn't right. I, I just... That's my personal opinion to each their own. I will respect all of you guys' opinion. I hope you respect mine. Um, but I just, I, I uh, no, yeah. Anyway, so th this is why I didn't want to get into it. So anyway, that, that, that's it. That's long story short. Um, that those, I'm sure you guys, like I said, that's enough information for you guys to know where I stand on this. So um, anyway, I will not be reviewing the aircraft. I will not be purchasing the aircraft. So without further delay, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, guys. All right, guys, so getting on to our mods, enhancements, and tools, we have a new pushback service, which is absolutely awesome. Finally, we have a uh, add-on that is not external to the simulator. So you're going to bring up your toolbar here, and you're going to bring this guy up right here. It says pushback. And from here, you can go over to the aircraft tab that we're on here, and you can select all of your ground services. That's how all of these guys were deployed here. We can control our car. Uh, yep, good. Our doors, if we choose. Opening, closing, cargo doors, parking brake, that's really handy. Your catering, baggage, stairs, power, um, fuel, and the jetway. So we can pull the jetway off like that. And then from the pushback, we can go start pushback. And this is going to be your tug direction slider. So you're going to be able to not only pick a turn, but decide how much it turns. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Let's go ahead and increase the tug speed. See if that... Oh, no, it's already starting. Okay, now I feel bad. I don't want it to f start yet. That's kind of messed up. Dude's like, wait for me, man. And then you have a button here that will release parking brake. And the nice thing about this, you can click here. And remember, when we do this, we can actually take the window off screen. So if you're doing, like myself, a content creator, is, you know, doing some recordings, you have that option. I just close that and leave it up now. 
And then, I'm not sure what that snap over was about. We'll release the parking brake. And then we're just going to add some tug speed. Wait, how slick is that? That is awesome. Let's just see how fast it goes. Oh, yeah, we can get moving. We can get that thing moving. <laughs> All right, and let's see here. Tug direction. So, nope, I want the other way. But you can really turn that. Look at that. That's... All right. And then let's see. There we go. So it's going to take some getting used to learning, obviously, just like anything else, what the uh, turn parameters are there. But, and then we can go ahead and stop the tug, or we can pull it forward. And again, increase the tug speed. It's a shame you get in so much trouble, because I feel like as a tug driver, you could really mess with the pilots. Anyway, so this is a fantastic, absolutely fantastic mod. I'm really impressed by this one. I'm gonna share you guys, share you guys, share with you guys. The, uh, link for this one so give me just a second here by the way as always all links to mods and anything that I use to display in my videos will be down in the description below I just want you guys to see this one so here is the um, the main page the download location obviously flight sim.2 that's where I get just about everything that I do um, oops okay didn't mean to put the uh, f-bomb up there on the display but uh, so ambitious pilots, you guys have done absolutely a fantastic job. And what was funny is I downloaded this yesterday afternoon and then yesterday evening, the developers reached out and asked if I would check it out. So I was like, it was meant to be. Um, but this is guys, fantastic work. This is beautiful. This is beautiful, especially for, as like I said, as a content creator, having everything very quickly uh, accessible, um, just being able to come up drop that guy you know as a content creator like i said i can pull it off over here get it off the screen that way all you guys see is the magic and then um oh i didn't add any tug speed oh wow i'm have to make it turn and then just simply be able to control it again so no more contacting atc no more launching third-party apps um having Everything you need for the aircraft at your disposal, parking brake, your ground services, doors, cargo, you name it, you got it here. So guys, make sure you buy them a coffee if you catch my drift and really hook them up with this one because this is a really nice integration and it's been a long time coming to see something like this. So well done, Ambitious Pilots. Now let's move on to the next one. All right, and the next add-on I want to show you guys is this one here called Dashboard. I thought this was actually pretty neat. Now, all it does is give you information okay it's not a tool to control your um, uh, your aircraft with so there's no buttons or anything like that, that you have to worry about controlling but what is very nice about it is it provides you with very quick information so we have our ground speed up there our ground elevation our altitude above ground level our indicated altitude let's see what else we got here Toggle climb and descent estimation. Let's see what this next one over here. Options. Oh. Okay. So let's see. You can toggle on top or not. There you go. Semi transparent if you choose. Update interval in milliseconds. So you can choose how often it's updating itself. So again, it's just for information. But you have our wind, we have our wind speed, outside temperature, um, G-forces. Let's see how... She's probably would pull more Gs than that, but that's the sim, not... I totally believe that that's actually what it's projecting that we're saying. Um, our longitude and latitude coordinates, those are really actually kind of handy. Um, especially when referencing flight plans and things like that. So anyway, this was just another one that I thought that I would uh, show off here. I thought this was a really neat idea. I can see a couple of different applications for it. We have all of your autopilot information up here. Um, lights indication, brakes pressure, uh, your flaps indication, fuel. I mean, this is, this is pretty good stuff. And it's nice to have at a quick glance um, without having to have anything else up on your screen. Again, it's on the screen right now for you guys' benefit. But I can simply toggle it off like that. 
or again I can put this T here and it puts it as always on top but I can come up here it was a little weird to grab last time I will say that oh there we go and I can move it completely off screen now I've got everything I need on the other screen and it's just it, it, it it's this is gonna be a preference one right this is gonna be you know how much information do you want in one spot you know you know do you prefer just to look at the gauges etc um, but uh, anyway very cool tool I thought so again this is called a uh, dashboard I believe and dashboard 2 I believe it's called and uh, link down in the description below so make sure you guys check it out alright let's go ahead and move on to our next showcase for today alright and the next add-on or mod that we're gonna be taking a look at is for the King Air 350i um, JD is probably one of the um, more common modders out there really for some of these aircraft and he has come out with a really awesome what looks like a pack for the King Air 350i everything coming into um, the interior as well as exterior as well as performance um, so we've really got quite the package here and I'm going to show you guys here what this looks like so if we come up here again link down in the description below here's just a few of the uh, enhancements that he's got going on here and so I'll let you guys go ahead and just pause that and take a peek if you'd like but uh, we have again we have flight model changes scene or um cockpit customizations you name it uh, co-pilot additions if you choose um, as well as a, a separate mod has been made for the gtn 750 um, which he's provided the link to as well um, so this is an aircraft that actually i've been wanting to check out for quite a while and this may have finally sealed the deal for me as far as getting started with it um, it's nice to sort of see it in action and uh, it is a pretty pretty cool looking aircraft I have to say I've always I've always dug it quite a bit so I'm interested to see what kind of changes this happens I tried flying it once a long time ago and wasn't particularly impressed but that was absolutely the stock version of this aircraft so um, the TBM has stole my heart over the King Air um, but uh, I think it's time to revisit this beautiful bird and see what happens so make sure you guys give this one a shot and let me know down in the comments what your experience with the King Air is all right let's go ahead and move on to the next one and the next one we are here to take a look at is a sound mod for the H135. So first thing I want to do guys is I'm going to show you guys what the default sounds are. So I'm going to stay real quiet and just let the aircraft start up. And then uh, I'll go ahead and show off the mod.
All right, so now let's check out the sound improvement. All right, so now we're going to see what the difference is with the mod installed. Oh, it starts over though. All right, well. So the problem is here, I think there's actually, for me, it's a little column A, column B. There are things I like about this one, and there are things I like about the one that comes with the mod. Now, I know that they're in partnership, if memory serves, so some of the sounds that are in the mod actually come from this developer, if memory serves. Uh, but this is the latest version that's not included with the latest release of the H135 that we have, but... Anyway, so I will let you guys be the decision makers here. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Which sound profile do you prefer best? As always, links down in the description, guys. Um, I was going to show off Sim EFB, um, but I think I'm actually just going to wait until tomorrow's video where we will be going over it in extreme detail. So make sure you guys stay on the lookout for that. That should be a really fun one. It is a really awesome piece of software that has a lot of functionality, especially for VFR flyers. Um, so, uh, stay tuned for that guys. And as always have a great evening. I'll see you in the next one.